How's it going, everybody? Uh, doing a request here today. It is a uh, eating popcorn, and I'll be talking about like uh, what I've been watching lately. They had actually had originally asked for eating popcorn with a Fallout show review, but I had already been asked to do the Pringles one with the Fallout review, so I did say I would do a popcorn eating vid. I might have said with another review, but I figured I'd go just with what I've been watching because I still haven't finished Halo up, so I can't really fully review that. I have this uh, Boom Chicka Pop sea salt popcorn I got. It was, I was the cheapest one. That was in Stop and Shop, and it was like three eighty. Uh, everything else was four or more, so I grabbed this. See how it is. Decent amount in here. And I will be discussing what I've been watching. Serving. Pretty good. Got the old brisk iced tea. Um, those went up. They were on sale for a buck and a quarter, but they did go up. They're like a buck seventy now. Um, some stuff I've been watching. Uh, we watched. Late Night with the Devil. That was, I really liked that. I'll talk a little bit about it in another video. It was really well made. It took place in 77. The look was perfect. Acting was fantastic. It was, uh, what's his name? David Desk. I don't want to say his last name. He's been in stuff. He was in... Uh, I don't want to say he was, in that, he was in that movie, Prisoners. He was in one of the Christopher Nolan Batmans. I think he had a small part. Uh, James Gunn's Suicide Squad he was in. But he, he was excellent. You know, had the game show... Not the game show... The late night talk show host. Damn perfect. Like everybody was great. It really felt like a legit late night talk show. Um, but he was he was like up against Carson. His contract's coming up and his ratings have been dropping. His wife had died the year prior, and now he's got like he's got a bunch of paranormal type people coming on to this Halloween show, and they want to do like an on-air possession and stuff happens. Yeah, he has a skeptic on there, so he's questioning things and stuff. And, uh, it's really well done, really good movie. I would check it out. It's on Shutter. It was in the theater. I don't know if it still is, but it's it was a Shutter movie. Shutter. Uh, they do good horror. Hello. 
from the beginning of the movie, a lot of people uh, did stuff for this movie. There's a lot of companies involved. really good. I would check that out if you're into horror. Supernatural horror stuff. Um, what else? Oh, I, mean, I talked about that. Uh, uh, Spirit Halloween. There was a movie, Spirit Halloween. And it takes place in one of the stores at night, which actually was in an old Toys R Us, of course. Well, these kids go there as like a local legend or something. Oh, they want to do it too. They want to do something cool on Halloween. They're getting older now. They're going into high school or something. They want to do something cool on Halloween. And they go there and, uh... There's a local legend you see in the beginning. But that ghost appears and it's trapped in there and... It wasn't bad. It was pretty much like a Goosebumps type thing. the Garfield movie. <laughs> wink, wink. It's not out yet. It has come out in other places. I think it's out in Spain, maybe Italy, a few other places. Um, it was pretty good. I thought Chris Pratt was fine as Garfield for me personally. Even though he's been gone for a long time, uh, Lorenzo Music is the voice of Garfield to me. Or he voiced him in the little movies they did in the 80s, and then, and then Garfield and Friends as well. Like the Christmas special in the 80s, the Halloween one, Thanksgiving, and there's a couple other movies. So they're like hour-long things they had in the 80s before Garfield and Friends. That started in 88. But honestly, I thought Chris Pratt was fine. It was pretty funny. Heartfelt, you know. Looked nice, the, uh, whatever CG or whatever they're using looked nice. I, th I thought it was a pretty solid overall movie, honestly. It was fairly funny. Um, breezed by. talk about I might have talked about it a little bit in the video we had watched Ghostbusters Frozen Empire yeah sequel to Afterlife and it's in the series it was alright it was not bad I don't think it was as good as Afterlife It wasn't a bad movie. I was hoping it would be better than Afterlife, but... Just kind of a bunch of stuff happens. It was just like a... Hey! Freaking cat's clone on the couch. Fine. The effects look cool. I mean, people saw Slimer in that commercial. He popped up 
He wasn't in a ton of it. He really just barely in any of it. But nice to see him back. And uh, Ernie Hudson, Bill Murray, and Dan Aykroyd are all there. So was uh, one can Annie Pods as well. And the guy, the mayor is still a mayor apparently in the city. The guy from the original. Was he still a mayor? I forget. If maybe he was, no, he wasn't the governor, I don't think. They live in the old house, the old firehouse. Paul Rudd. Is it Carrie Coon, the the woman who plays the mother of the two kids? I forget their names. The one kid was in, we're still in. Um, Stranger Things. Is the girl's name McKenna Grace? Wolf Wolfgang? Is he, is that his name? They don't know they're fighting ghosts. The mayor doesn't like what's happening at points, as always, because they're causing damage. It was decent. Like I said, I was hoping it would be better than Afterlife, but I thought Afterlife was better than it. I don't know if I'd watch it again type movie, you know, it was solid, I wasn't offended by it or anything, I wasn't like, this is a pile of shit, but, <clears throat> I was hoping it would be better. Have I just watched something myself? Well, I'm gonna throw on the TV real quick and uh, see if I can remember some of the stuff. We may have watched on Amazon or Netflix. Pretty good pop, pretty good popcorn though. Some of the stuff. Oh, she's been watching, uh, and I watched some of it with her. Text me when you get home. It's like this about true stories of uh, women or, you know, girls in high school or whatever. Something happens to them, and you, know, you last text and stuff, and then they're investigating. Unfortunately, most of the time, the people don't make it from. So, there's one case where this high school girl got shot in the back of the head, and she lived. Which I was like happy, so I was like getting emotional. Like, oh, that's great. She, you know, she made it. Excuse me, and pretty much, you know, outside, you know, struggles afterwards. But pretty much, she's fully f like it didn't affect her as much as you would think it would have. As I said, like the percentage of even living from that is slim, and if you do, the quality of life is not good. But. But we watched a few of those. She watched more. I was starting to watch the Who Done It, the uh, Clue documentary. I didn't watch the whole thing. It was decent. 
was talking about the, you know, the directors and stuff and who could have been cast here. Like Carrie Fisher was cast, but then she was she had her drug problems back then. She ended up in rehab before they started filming, so she didn't uh, obviously end up in it. Um, I can't remember. Is there anything else here? No, this is all older stuff. Um, what's this? The ghost station. This sounds like it's right up my alley. It's only 81 minutes too. Sorry, I'm like, <laughs> I'm looking for stuff I watched and I'm like, oh, I found something I'll, I'll be interested in. Um, yeah, this isn't, I thought I would have watched more. Oh, it looks like it's a, uh, It is not, it's an Asian film, Korean. <clears throat> um, when I saw Ghost Station and then I was reading a little blurb, I was like, that sounds like it's got to be, that doesn't sound like it's a movie from the U.S. That doesn't fit, it sounded like an Asian horror movie. And it, it is, <clears throat> all parts of the globe have like their specific kind of, feel and you know you're like okay that movie came from here that movie came from there um let's see let's see netflix oh i was watching some of that somebody mentioned to actually to watch it in a i'm pretty sure it was in a comment they said uh that i should check out i think you should leave and i did uh watch like five or six episodes it's funny i forget what the guy was uh i forget his name I could probably, oh this is on here now this suzume movie's on here i wanted to check this out i probably actually put it on my list um oh there's the roast of tom brady people are asking me i have not watched it yet. i saw a few clips someone was asking if i can talk about it but you know after i if i do watch it i'll talk about it in a bit i guess i don't madam webb's on here <laughs> Yeah, this is this, so I haven't not watched anything recently on here, I, outside of... I still gotta finish that show, Chicken Nugget, I talked about that <laughs> freaking thing. Tim Robinson's the guy's name. I think he did, was that Detroiters he was on? He was on SNL briefly, too. It's pretty funny, it has a specific kind of humor. Sketch, little skits and stuff. They're pretty funny. So I haven't I haven't been watching as many shows couple things coming out in the theater I'm interested in seeing. Um, the new Strangers movie. I think it's a prequel to the original. I forget what it's called. Like chapter one or something. Year one or whatever. The new Quiet Place movie looks decent.
do a little eating here for a second. Oh, guys, this has just been a quest here eating popcorn. And uh, like I said, originally they wanted the Fallout review, but I had already been asked to do the Pringles one. So I said I would do some kind of, you know, watching, reviewing shows, movies type thing. So if we could do what I've been watching, if it is part of it. But uh, thanks for checking this out, and have a good day.